until the very end. What? Yeah, yeah you had a stat on Elise, actually, didn't you? She was 100%. Yeah. Those are Nidalee, and Ox is going for it. He's going with the AP Nidalee. And we got ganks on both sides of the map here. Yep, both lanes are seeing action. Cutie Pie could go down here, and he does. It hits him on the backside. Krepo is going to be falling in the exchange, and it looks like they're still chasing what? Cruiser back to his turret. In the top lane, Crumbs oh. makes it out. Cruiser does not. And it looks like they're trading back and forth on either side. All said, though, this was much better for Evil Geniuses. Mm -hmm. they They've tied those up, have a 2,000 gold lead. It looks like they may have found themselves a Crepo. Ooh, and he doesn't even have his ultimate up. This is a dead Crepo. <laughs> yeah, level 6 Crepo going down. The team's not going to be able to use him for now, but they are oh, getting the Dragon on Dick's side. he didn't get his ward down he, afterwards. Oh, Despite yeah. not having he a teleport on Cruiser, he was able to roam down. There's no turret for him to defend. Dignitas trying to go for this objective. Nox looks like he gets the blue. That's going to help out, you know, EG. Try to get some siege potential. Poe Belter just gets mm. taken out under the turret. He didn't even see that coming and get more turrets because that's their focus. That was great placement by Evil Geniuses there. Dig was really right around mid, huddled up. Oh, Whoa. Krepo throws down the Solar Flare, but he gets Flame Chomped. A great placement oh. by Cutie Pie. And it thwarts the it. turn. Cruiser's right in the middle of the fight with Teleport. Krepo's the focus, and he goes down as he's been putting that health on, but it's not enough. Pobelter's the final focus. No, Inox, Cruiser rather, going down as Inox finds that kill. Crumbs, he is ignited, but he is still going strong. The Repel goes up so he can follow. The Cocoon goes out, and Pobelter is already well out of range with Shadows. Really high level fight there. Just one for one on each side. Man. Look at these teams. It's a skill shot party to be dodged, as you said. So hard for these guys to keep themselves in the right position. Cutie Pie losing a quarter of his health there. Yellow Peak goes down. Didn't even know what was happening behind the turret. And Cutie Pie, like he said, you get that, get excited, and it's over. So now fighting they without go. that damage, they may want to try this one onto him. Oh, he gets him off the ducky, the alley oop on Scar and himself. He goes down. No, here comes the barrier in for Scara. Tries to take him down. 30 seconds on the clock there, but three fall instantly for EG on the return fire. And it's not what they wanted. Hey, we talked about the momentum that Dignitas might carry through. And if Pobelter wasn't trying to skimp on his item build and had able to get home guard moves. Oh, crumbs. He actually, oh wait, it goes up. He's going to take that damage from the death mark. Oh. But it looks like they're trying to come into this one strong. Crumbs gets the kill over onto Yellow Peak. Crepo falls right after. They were wandering alone. Yeah, they had power in numbers, but Dignitas was ready to close in. Pretty good jukes by Poe Belter, but the third one lands. Oh, he's going to be forced to flash on that. He's got a shadow coming up. He doesn't throw it back. He throws it it's forward. A stun. Tries to get it on the stun. There's no slow to follow. Cruiser is just too sticky. Woo, he almost took out I'm a cutie pie in the back there. And they don't have the zig, so they can't Woo. throw in the bomb. No, it does go over to Crumbs. A very nice job. Low on Snoopy. Sometimes you just got to try. Still only dying once on what is now his jinx as Dignitas comes around to pick bands. The oh-so-great ultimate flash initiation on Tibbers. All the health bars. Snoopy, Crepo going down so quickly. Pole Belter being focused. Cruiser tanks the turret first. It worked beautifully for the team, and the dive continues back mm. towards the fountain. A kill coming out, however, onto Crumbs. He goes down valiantly for the team, but it's a clean ace, Jack. Triple kill comes in at the end for Scar. That's the decisive initiation. Kiwi Kid leading the charge with a four games and it doesn't look like they're stopping anytime soon a win here over evil geniuses gives them another win in the column dignitas going to try and carry this one as far as they can a very comp dominating win over eg here so we looked a little bit at the bottom lane it played out very well yellow yellow Pete was able to get a few kills on ezreal but like we said yeah. that you like you said